it is faith welcome back to another video on the channel today we're doing yet another sunday reset routine video i love watching these videos and making these videos and you guys like watching them too so i'm doing another one today i had such a relaxing weekend it's actually like five o'clock to 5 30 right now so we're getting a little bit of a late of a start but i have a few things that i wanted to get done today Actually wrote them down so I'm just gonna read them off and we're just gonna go get started by tackling one of these tasks at a time clean out and reorganize my skincare fridge my fridge has been collecting a little bit of dust and it won't turn on now so I'm gonna figure that out next I have to wash my makeup brushes this is like a habit I'm trying to implement every single week or every few times that I do my makeup is washing my brushes because I notice such a difference in my skin when I do do that. Throw out boxes. I have a whole pile of like boxes and stuff over there that I just need to break down and get out of my room. Planning my week. I have kind of a busy week this week so I'm just gonna plan all of the tasks that I know I need to get done by the end of this week and kind of space them out into different days. Um, and then last but not least paint my nails. Now I'm gonna this is like at the bottom of the to-do list just because I can always do this next week but my nails look so trashy so I at least need to remove the nail polish and like shape them I don't know if I'll have enough time to paint them but I at least put like a clear coat or something on it so I can deal with it later because this just needs to get cleaned up so with all of that being said let's go ahead and get started the first thing I'm gonna do is put my sheets in the wash so they're nice and warm to get into tonight In the wash I still have to clean my comforter so we'll get to that once that's in the dryer but next is going through like all these random boxes and trashing them I'm going to reorganize my skincare fridge. This is what it looks like inside. I was recently on a weekend trip, so I put everything in the big fridge and just let this like turn off and like take a break for a little bit. So it's time for me to reorganize it. Now I'm very excited to do that. However, I cannot turn on my fridge right now because y'all see that? there is a ton of dust and instead of like trying to dust it with a duster and like putting the dust back into the vent and making it worse i thought using this vacuum would help so i'm going to take the vacuum to the wand and i'm going to just put it up to this vent and see how that goes i think it'll just suck everything up <laughs> Honestly, I'm kind of in a time crunch. Oh, I have my flash on. The next thing I'm gonna do is my nails. Now, like I said, I probably am not gonna do like a full-on manicure, but I at least wanna remove the nail polish, shape them, file them, 
cut them down a little bit and just at least put some top coat so they're protected. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this nail polish remover with some cotton balls. I'm gonna just like file down my nails and let me see, I do have top coat. So I'm just gonna use the OPI top coat, super basic, but that's all I'm gonna do tonight because I don't wanna rush doing it. And since I'm about to go to bed soon, like I don't want them like ruined overnight because I tend to not like let my nails fully dry and I don't have time for that. to wash my makeup brushes but I wanted to show you guys like how I clean them and like what I use in case you guys were interested so one of the things that I have noticed has been really effective is like a cleansing oil now I don't know if this is like the best to use on makeup brushes and makeup sponges I noticed this works really well with makeup sponges I got this from like Amazon um, it's the perfect facial cleansing oil, gently removes makeup and impurities. This is great to remove your makeup with as well, but I mostly use them for the sponges. And then for the brushes, I just use this e.l.f. like brush shampoo, gets the job done. I don't really like have good quality makeup brushes. I mean, I have like the sponges, this is like a real technique, and so this is like an actual beauty blender, but all of these are just like a mixture. I have Sonia Kashuk, I have Sephora, I have some random like Ipsy bag ones from BH cosmetic sets. So it's like all over the place. I haven't really invested in good makeup brushes so I just use like whatever I can find. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. My routine is very simple. Like I just wet the brush, I put the shampoo on, I swirl it on my hand and then I kind of just repeat that process and like rinse the brushes. one of the best things you could do for your makeup brushes, yet it's such a drag to do. But it doesn't take a long time either, so I'm trying to get into the habit of doing this like weekly or like every three times I do my makeup, like just, I'm trying to build a habit. <laughs> what I'm going to be doing tomorrow and then some to do's throughout the week so I think I'm pretty much done planning my entire week as far as I know. I'm gonna end that there and I'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this little Sunday reset vlog. It was just like a few hours in my day. We got all the things done. I'm just waiting for my comforter to dry and then I'll just put it on my bed. Also, I think I did a crappy job talking about it. I'm just not realizing it and I think it's gonna annoy me in editing. So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs up. Comment below if you wanna see more Sunday reset vlogs. And with that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye.